everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Kathy, and today I'm going to talk about how I'm keeping track of the temperature out in greenhouses. Now, the small little greenhouse that I have, which is an 8x10, I am using a Acrylite thermometer, and it comes with um, this and Part and then another part which hangs out into the greenhouse. Now, there's a lot of things I like about this. It gives you the time of day. It tells you what the temperature is, both outside and inside. You can hit this button down here and I'll tell you what the maximum like today it was 89 degrees out in the greenhouse and the minimum was 65 and that tells you the current that right now it's at 70 degrees out there I really like this for that reason the thing I don't like about it is if you want to keep track of the temperature as through the month you have to do it manually by writing it down on a piece of paper each night and also, this is only good for 165 feet, which works fine for the small greenhouse, but doesn't work for the new greenhouse. The new greenhouse is beyond that measurement. So I went online and I ordered another one, and it came in this package. And we're going to open it up. This is from Gobi. It's a very small little package. And this is a Bluetooth Wi Fi thermometer and also does the humanity. So we're going to open this up and I will change the angle so you can see. Oops, <laughs> not that much, I'm not. Alright. This is the package. It came sealed in this in belt, which is a bubble wrap, and a very small package. Inside the package, when you open it, you have your instruction manual, your temperature thing itself, which is quite small. It has a t tab on the back that you have to Poe to activate the sensor, the battery. And then you have to go to your smartphone and download Gobi Home, which looks basically like that. And it'll ask you to set up an account, which is very simple to do. And once you get your account, they'll say add devices. You go down, you find the device that is listed in your manual and just push the button and then it'll ask what Wi-Fi you put in your password on your Wi-Fi and it's that simple to set up and this is an indoor outdoor thermometer but will they say it will work in the greenhouse since it's not really outside so we're gonna and it's got this nifty little strap to hang it by. So we're going to take this out to the greenhouse and see how it does. And what I like about this is that it gives you a graph for the, up to a whole year. So you can keep track of the high and lows throughout the day with the temperature and the humidity. And you can even, if you hit that little um, settings button, it'll come up with a uh, so you can actually set an alarm so that this will go off if it gets above, I got set for 96 degrees, if it goes above 96 degrees I will get an alarm on my phone saying that I need to go out and vent the uh, greenhouse and I have it set for 37 degrees 
which means if it gets down to 37 degrees, I go out and I put some um, fleece covers over the um, beds to protect them from the wet weather, from any potential frost. That is one thing I really like about this one that the little greenhouse doesn't have. It has no alarms. I have to come in here and actually push the button when I think it's going to get too hot or too cold out there. So, that is what I am up to today since it's raining and can't work out in the garden. And I got everything pretty much um, planted out there. So, let's take this out and hang it up and see how it does. All right, we're out of the greenhouse. Take a look at all the little plants that did okay. And we got our sensor hanging right here for the time being. We'll see how that goes. And the plants all look like they did well last night. They had their first night out. So things are looking pretty good. And I am loving the fact that I'm out here in the rain. I can hear the rain hitting the top of the roof. I hear the thunder in the background and I'm nice and dry. But I'm done. So now I have to take this mess to the house and wash them up so they'll be ready to store into the little shed for next year. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you would, please. And hit the bell icon so you know what I'm going to be on next. And remember, dream big and follow that dream. In the meantime, I'm going to get a snack of these salads before I leave. Bye.